Okay, so yeah, let's just start. Let's just start. And today is April 27. Okay, so we will start. We will start. And last week we started to talking about the competitive advantage. So what is the source of the competitive advantage? What is the source of the competitive advantage? And then maybe you can remember that I propose that this multiple capitals multiple capitals and core okay so the, how yeah what is the purpose of the strategy what is the purpose of the strategy what is the purpose of the using the strategy in business what is the purpose of the strategy mm. Mm. and the <laughs> purpose of strategy why we are using the purpose of uh, the strategy Exactly, we want to win without fighting. Absolutely, this is a purpose of the strategy. Okay, so that how you know, so the competitive education, okay, so how to win without fighting, how to win without fighting. Okay, do you remember the five elements? What are those five elements? If we secure, if we can create and sustain those five elements, we can win without fighting. What are those five elements? According to the Sun Tzu's Art of War. What are those five elements? Tao Tian Zi Zhang. Exactly, exactly. And then in modern world, in modern world. <laughs> What is those five elements? What are those five elements? What are those five elements in modern world, in modern in modern language? We define that, and the Michael Porter define those five the five elements as what? Michael Porter defined that as five element hmm? what we are learning about in this section that is competitive advantage that is a modern word of the five element okay so then a long story short if we can secure if we can create if we can create and sustain competitive advantage okay if we can create and sustain the competitive advantage we can win without fighting okay so from the last week we are we keep talking about it what is the source of the competitive advantage what is the source of the competitive advantage do you remember no, 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 not in this. Okay. Do you remember what is the source of the competitive advantage last week? People side, especially. Do you have that? What is the source of the competitive advantage? Do you remember? Oh, do I have that? No. Okay, so then let's see. Uh, where is that? 11. Do I have that one? Second, okay, 11. Mm -hmm. Oh, Iris comes. Okay, give me a second. Buddy, hey, hey, hey. Source of the competitive advantage. What is a direct source of Competitive advantage. Do you remember? Is it working? 12, 11, 11, 11, 11. No. 11. Okay. Okay. Not in here. 
No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Okay, that's going to be there. It's 11, 12, 9, 2, supplement. Okay, give me a second. What is the direct source of the competitive advantage? 12, 9, where is 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, Okay, good. Let's be here. Hmm? I, no! <laughs> no! What are you talking about? Okay, here. Competitive advantage. That's the basis of the superior return, where the competitive advantage is a source of the win without fighting. Absolutely. And what is the source of the competitive advantage? According to a resource-based view, according to strategy approaches in the resource-based view, scarce, scarce resource theory, that is, come from the core competencies of the people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, absolutely the core competencies is a source of the competitive advantage. And uh, in, yeah, maybe you return, you got a return from, my, from me that something was wrong in your essay, mainly in your essay, something was wrong. And I commented like this. Okay, so you wrote down the competitive advantage. But you wrote a lot about at the competitive advantage of the Xiaomi. Xiaomi. Okay. But however, I asked about what is the core competencies of Xiaomi. That's different. Competitive advantage is the competitive advantage that enable us to win without fighting. However, Core competency is, must be a source of the competitive advantage. That is related with knowledge, skill, ability, or capability. Okay? And others. So, I ask about the core competencies that create a competitive advantage. And many of you just describe that what is the core competitive, what is the competitive advantage of the Xiaomi? And then the core, the cost of something, and the the R and D innovation, blah blah, and the network something, and the the leadership. Mm, that's a competitive advantage. We maybe the competitive advantage can be understood like this: competitive advantage. Probably that is very similar with key success. Uh -huh. However, core compact competency is the source of the that create the competitive advantage. That is related with knowledge, skills, capabilities like this. Resources, tangible resource, intangible resource, and the organic capability, functional skills, cross functional skills. That is creating. That is a source of the core competency. Competency, and that that is a source of the competitive advantage. So you must describe what is the people side of the winning factor. Okay, that is a competency. That's a source of the competitive advantage. We mainly talk about that. Okay. Good, that's all. What is that? What is that? Give me a second here. Yeah, 11, 12. Okay, 16, 17, 18, 19. And, okay, so the intangible resources, what the tangible resources and those kind of the knowledge, skills, and something, something, something. Okay, there is a, there, we, we talked about at the knowing, the structure of the knowing. Because that okay, structure of the knowing, structure of knowing. We talked about it, the structure of the knowing and the hierarchy of knowing. Because that the competency is related with our knowing. We mainly talk about it, okay? And that's one. That's one approach. And however, the, I propose that the another another approach of the multiple capital approach. 
that describe that the tangible or intangible or organizational capability, not capability of okay? gain. What is that? So then we mainly talk about it, uh, if we have more money, we maybe we can win without fighting, probably. And then, yeah, we talk a little about it, the organizational capital, social capital, human capital. And uh, we mainly talk more about this kind of things. And then there is a personal capital something. And this, if we have this kind of the multiple capitals, maybe we can win without fighting. That becomes a core competency and that is transformed to the competitive advantage. Okay. And this is not organizational level of something. Yeah, this is personal level. And this is personal. And however, from here, that is becoming the organizational level. This is personal. This is a personal. And that's becoming more organizational level. So we keep talking about at the, what is the, our core uh, source of competitive advantage. 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 Okay. And the first we learned about at the people side of the knowledge, skill set, and that we call that is a competence approach. Okay, that's a competence approach. And then today, uh, this week, we were mainly talking about at the mm, multiple capital. Okay, and then we will talk about at the local currency issue that enables us to do something good. Strategy, something. That's my. I'd better to share my the personal experiences. Okay, whatever. So first, competency approach is done. Okay, last week, and then we uh, this week we mainly talk about at the what is the source of the competitive advantage that come from the multiple capital management, managing the multiple capitals. And then I will share the local currency strategy example, case study, because I, I, I made that kinds of things. Okay, good. And then we will keep talking about it, the multiple capitals, multiple capitals. Let's see. Where is that? Yep, yep. Out of many capitals, okay, and then do you do you know do you, can you see the social capital? Okay. Financial capital, you know, that's money. Okay. And the organizational capital, maybe you know that the Apple is good at making more money than the Google or the Huawei. Why? Because they can realize a good idea better. That's organizational capital. Financial capital, organic capital, we know. And uh, we keep talking about it, the social capital and the human capital, psychological capital, physiological capital, spiritual capital, and uh, that's getting more individual. Individual. This is, yeah, these two are the more organizational. Whatever. Okay, let's keep talking about social capital. Social capital. Okay, so, mm -hmm, if, okay, for example, first, uh, startups. If you want to start your own business and how you can get money, can get initial seed money. Where did you get the seed money? Hmm. Iris, borrow from bank? Let's see. Okay, so Cindy, what will happen if you bring your business idea to a bank now? What will happen? If you bring, yeah, you got a very good idea and then you wrote that the business plan something and then you bring that idea to borrow some money to bank and what will happen now? You have a great idea. Yeah, absolutely. What will happen if you bring the business idea to the or to a Chinese bank? What will happen? Can you borrow some money? OK, 
can you borrow some money from from bank now no idea <laughs> only depends on your credit okay absolutely and do you have a credit so then <laughs> where can we get money to start a business right now think about it business angels angels okay what will happen if you bring your business side to business idea to a business angel what will happen Exactly, Aileen. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we call that is a four F four fools. Four fools. No trust, no credit, and no idea. And uh, Harvard, yeah, you know, if we want to start a business right now, maybe we can get our get some money from four Fs. Four fools. Four fools. Uh, four fools. Do you know the four fools? Four fools. Do you know the four fools? Who, who somebody, who somebody will give some money to start your business? Okay. Absolutely. Father, family. Ah, so and the friend and the fool. <laughs> fool. Four fools. Oh, what is the four fools? April fools more. No, four fools. Four fools of the entrepreneurial seed money. Entrepreneurial four fools. Entrepreneurs. Yeah. Three apps or the four fools, whatever, okay? So then, at least, okay, so let's imagine. Okay, so do you know the Facebook? Who made the Facebook first? Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, he was a Harvard student. Okay, he was a Harvard student. He was just a student like you. He was a student and then, yeah, he wanted to start his business of the Facebook. Okay. Absolutely, he needs some money. And how he gets those kind of money? Those money. Many of the campus entrepreneurs or the many of the campus, many of the college students who wanted to start their business and where they get some money? Four apps. Father, family, friends, or some fools like me, or professors or the who, who really want to support you. We call those are four fools, okay? So then, mm, maybe we can know if you know somebody who will help you, okay? That can be a money. That's a social relations. Money comes from the social relations, trust. Trust what the good, good social relations is uh, money. Don't you think so? What if you have a good relationship with a banker? Maybe you can borrow some money. What if you have a good relationship with a business angels? Maybe you can get some money. What if you have a good relationship with your father, whether your brother or sister, whether your another family? Maybe you can get some money. So, social relations quality okay quality of the social relations is a uh, money we define that as a social capital because that the social relationship is a uh, money okay make sense
Haley, friends, family. What if you have a very yeah you you don't have a good relationship with your mom and the mom will give you some money? Hmm. Yeah, well, probably the mom will give you some money, whatever. Okay. What if you have a good you have a bad relationship with a friend? Can you get some money from your friend? Miko. Make sense? Social, the quality of the social relations is money. Is social capital we call. Okay, so in China, many body talks about it, the guanxi. Do you believe that the guanxi is very important to, to make a business in China? Yes or no? Guanxi is important? Hmm, absolutely. What is the definition of the guanxi? What is guanxi? Can you tell me what is that? Why that is important to make a business? No, I'm foreigner, you know. I, I have no idea about the guanxi. Social connections. Why that is matter? Why that is a matter? Why do I need to take care of that? Interpersonal what? Because social, okay, social, okay, social connections, mm, yeah, that's money. <laughs> Simply, that's valuable. Okay, that is mm, social relations. Social relations, social connections. Okay, social connections is not a matter, but how about the quality of social relations is matter? Because that can be interchangeably uh, trade off, trade off with a tangible money. That is money. Social good, good quality of the social relations is money make sense even though you don't have any penny okay if you have a good reputation if you have a good good uh social trust and if you have a good relationship with your friends or father mother or the another the business network mm, that's not a big deal to make more money absolutely what is the meaning of the trust? Trust can make money. Do you believe that? Trust is a source of the make is a source of making a good relations. So trust is a money source. So we define that the quality of the social relations as social capital so so good relationship is a good capital good money okay good so here we go social capital simply the social capital is asking about it the whom do you know whom do you know Okay, whom do you know? Absolutely, if you know somebody better, absolutely, that you have a better chance to make more money. And by definition, by definition, the social capital is expected a collective or the economic benefit, okay? Derived from the preferential the treatment and the cooperation between the individuals and the groups. Absolutely, that's the quality of the social network, social relations. Okay, that's the definition of the social capital. If you know somebody better, absolutely, you will have a better chance to materialize those relational quality into money, social capital. And however, the, there are, according to the research, and the, there are two different types of the social capitals. 
okay a long story that's really that yeah that's really challenging to understand okay whatever there are two different types of the social capital okay one is a so strong tie and the another one is a weak tie strong tie is a closer relations like a kinship relationship okay like your father mother or the family or friend mm -hmm. good they are we we usually have a very strong connections strong ties with those kind of the more kinship relationship like uh, father family mother friends or the very very nice friends or the close professors whatever so strong strong ties strong tie strong group identity and the group thinking good whatever that's good that looks nice that looks nice however in business does strong tie matter not much okay there is another tie another social capital that's a weak tie that's a weak tie the weak tie give us a bridging relations bridging relations. i know somebody i know somebody closely and however that guy can give us a connection with another guy okay so here 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 and then breaching breaching indirect relations i know somebody and he can introduce somebody else that's an indirect whether that's a weak tie we call okay and uh, whom do you know and what do you know throughout the somebody weak tie. so here is a question in business which social capital uh, which which tie which type of tie social relation of tie give us more money more benefit you have two choices strong tie can give us more money or the weak tie can give us more money choose one 50 50. Jesse, oh, just where is Jesse? Yay, touch a gate, touch a gate. Stepanie, huh? In Stepanie, no. Hmm. Chloe, we have a problem. Hmm. Which one? Strong tie can give us more money, or the weak tie can give us more money. Hmm. I get three. Hey Lee, oh, Dylan, Dylan is you too. Kevin, Ken, I can, can, can. Go. Ah, Eva, Eva here. I will see here. Okay. Which one give more money? Strong tie or weak tie? Yes. According to the social capital theory, I am talking about at the competitive advantage. Okay. In order to win without fighting. Okay that can that competitive advantage usually come from the this kind of the intangible assets social capital trust whom do you know guanxi you are talking about a guanxi but why that is a, why that key why that guanxi the good relationship with somebody give us a competitive advantage to win without fighting because guanxi can be understood as social capital that give us more money that give us more benefit absolutely and i am asking about it between the strong tie or the weak tie which one give us more better benefit which one give us more capital yes choose one okay. Okay. just seeing no. glory where are you? I will torture you. Strong tie. Mm, Haley. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Choose another one. You could die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, hmm. Is there anybody who I interested in making a business in Korea? Anybody who are interested in making a global business in Korea? 
Yeah, just just say yes. No. <laughs> okay, Olivia, thank you. Olivia, thank you. Okay. So yeah, vice. Yeah, I will talk. Okay, so, Olivia, okay. So you want to start a business in Korea, and however, the, maybe it's not easy to cultivate somebody, cultivate a business chance in Korea. But however, you know me, right? Olivia, you know me, absolutely. What if I can introduce some of my friend, business friend, to you? What if I can introduce some of my friends to you? I have a good I I know you. We have we have a strong tie, strong network. And how about I also have another strong network some of my Korean friends in Korea. And how about the, you, Olivia? Okay, you don't know my friend. However, I am a bridge. I'm a bridge. Then I can connect with you too. And however, the, I would be happy to do that because that I know you, I know my friends, and I I think that you make a good business relations, and I will be very happy to help you. This is weak time. You, Olivia, and the Korean, my Korean friends, have no network, no direct connections. But however, as a bridge, I can connect with you to make a business. I will do that because this is a weak time. Okay, so then, even though I and Olivia may have a very strong tie, very strong tie, but however, though we don't have a business, but I bet, I absolutely, I will help another of my friends, and that is a, that is a weak tie, but however, though that will give us a more business opportunity. Many, many of your business opportunity come from the weak time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, according to the research, majority of the business opportunities, the majority of the majority of the business business capitals comes from the weak time. Okay, weak time. And uh, do you know the LinkedIn? Are you using the LinkedIn? Olivia, are you using the LinkedIn? Hmm. Oh, Claire comes. Okay. Why you are using the LinkedIn? Because we want to make a good business network. Business social network. Uh huh. Absolutely. This is uh, our effort of creating a social capital. Absolutely. This is uh, how we create the social capital. Now, you know me. I can introduce somebody. Okay. That's the purpose of the creating the social capital. What if we have a good social capital? We can win without fighting. We, we can win without fighting because that the social capital can give us a more competitive advantage. Okay, got it? Make sense? Okay. Uh, if you are interested in making a hmm, content business, in Korea, with with the Koreans, with uh, with a, with the Korean pops, Korean something. Okay, maybe I can be a good source because I worked at the business in Korea, and then I have a few number of good networks with the singers, or the composers, or the marketing directors. Whatever. Okay, why not? And then if you're interested in something else, maybe you can use me. I can be a bridge. I can be a bridge. I can be your social capital. Mm -hmm. 
weak tie. Absolutely. So then, here is my question. This is a more practical, practical question. Okay, how we can create more better, more better social capital. <laughs> Just go to party and then just rub the elbow or something. How we can create a better little better social capital? What is the best way to be uh to create the, the better social capital? Anybody? Boy, participate in some activity. Mm, really? Probably. Mm. But so then, yeah, okay. So we get to know somebody, and then, can you, yeah, can you get some favor, or the, can you try, can you persuade somebody to help yourself to make a business? Probably not easy. Whatever. Okay. So something is better than nothing. Something is better than nothing. And then the hub, yeah, the many of the businesses and we make a gold. Okay, gold, mm, what else? And the drinking together and sauna together oh, and the party, what else? And the dinner together, eliminate the information. Uh, what is that? Eliminate the information symmetrically? An economist? I don't care. <laughs> what is that? How? How we can eliminate the information of smart receipt? How we can get to know somebody? <laughs> Bail over somebody by making a friend. Okay, how we can make friend? <laughs> Golf, drinking. <laughs> Oh, drink. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm Korean. So drinking, yeah. Soju, soju, yeah. Baiju, biju. Whatever. Okay, drink. Go for drinking and sauna, something or party, dinner, and what else? And the social. We call this a social activities. Ask a friend to interest more. Okay, yeah, LinkedIn was one thing like that. And then maybe you guys, those kind of the WeChat something. Okay? So the, in China, you use a lot of, yeah, you use the WeChat, you know, to connect somebody. That's good. Uh, just to connect in the WeChat is enough. And then we must play with together, do something. Do something with us, do something bad things like a go for drinking, sauna, sports activity, or a party, or a dinner, and the many of the social activities that help us to make a better social capital. Not much. Not much. And traditionally, the indigenous, we believed so. We believe that we must participate in the more social activities, business activities you know, to cultivate the more social capital. But recently, the Harvard business and the recent, in, in recent years, many of the scholars have studied about how we can cultivate the social capital in 21st century. And then according to our research, uh -huh, the best strategy to cultivate a better social capital is being a good person. really being a good person and the source of energy or the source of knowledge being a source of the knowledge being a source of the positive energy that is the best way to cultivate more good social capital in 21st century because we have a technology because we have a technology, okay? Like uh, Instagram, 
blog, website, and the Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Billy Billy. You can show off. You can show up throughout many social media. Billy Billy. Ah, oh, yeah, Billy. What is Billy? Billy Billy. Billy Billy. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Do I have one? Yeah, yeah, I have one. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So then, me too. I love the Billy Billy too. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if we can show off, show up by using our contents? Maybe we don't need to, we don't need to go somewhere, but the people will come to you. If you are a good person, then yeah, everybody will join you. Absolutely. So then, my personal suggestion is being a good person. Okay, that means please make a good content creator or storyteller. Then people will join you. Don't be afraid to show up. No. So now, world is changing, society is changing, and then you know that you are now doing the social distancing. Okay? Right now, can we do something? Can we cultivate the social capital? Yes. How? Yeah, we have a network. Any problem? No problem. Billy, Billy, please, why not? We chat, social distancing, and the use of technology to cultivate the social capital. Are you doing? Are you doing? The, are you doing? Are you cultivating? Are you making social capital? Please do so. Can you do it? Absolutely, you can do it. You must do it. You must do it now, because that's becoming your competitive advantage, you can do it. Okay. I uh, yeah, so, so recently I am making the YouTube channel and the YouTube something and I I I operate my the web the personal website and I contact a few number of our the faculty members in the New Jersey and all around the world. I do. And I share my story and uh, I share my knowledge. I share my concern, yeah, absolutely, and then well, I still keep good relationship with a few number of my key persons. I am still creating the social capital. Okay, and then the social capital, why the social capital is becoming the competitive advantage when you need somebody. Absolutely, the so social capital is one of the most valuable competitive advantage source when you need somebody uh -huh. attract and retain talent absolute netflix hr innovation we provide the people the best opportunity to work with the best people okay and many of the companies nowadays and then they are very concerning and they are really careful to hire somebody and how the people hire somebody nowadays how you get, yeah, where can you get a job information? Where can you get a job information? If you want, yeah, do you need a job after graduate? Do you need a job? Hmm? If you do need a job, and where can you find a job? Hey. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
Nikki, where can you find a job? If you need a job. Karen, where can you find a job? Where are you? Huh? huh? Nikki left. What happens? Mm -hmm. Stephanie, where can you find a job? LinkedIn, absolutely. However, LinkedIn is a public information. No. So how you can find a job? LinkedIn through your network. Okay. So that's that's not a public job. That's a that's an indirect it's an indirect information. Okay. So then there is a packing order of the HR. Packing order of HR. Okay. And the first the, the first we we get the job information through my social network. Okay, through okay internally internal okay. and the second and the, we use our social network to find us somebody third public job okay so internal internal internally maybe if you if you do not have any jobs and uh, you, you have no chance to get a job information from the internal something okay, however Epsom does this heck on the social network throughout the okay, job information from your social network is a matter. And more than 60 or the 70 percent of the job information come from the your social capital, social network. Valuable jobs. Unfortunately, your father, your mother, your family. And your friends, your professor, or the, your acquaintance. And this weak tie, this weak tie and this social network hubs or the channels becomes the source of the job. Is that it? Absolutely. And then if you have a good social network absolutely you can find a better person you can find a better job social capital works well if you have to deal with somebody okay and there is another the knowledge management is placed in knowledge as well as the technology that come from the social network how you can learn about the social norms Probably that usually come from your social network, your friend, your father, your mother, your friend, your your professors. Okay, knowledge usually valuable knowledge or the valuable information mainly come from the your social network. Okay, and absolutely there is a career success that's related with the job, and then many of the job information come from the weak tie. Okay, and we studied since the 1970s, and that's totally true. Okay, job information or the career information or the, those kind of the more professional information come from the your weak tie. Whom do you know? So, a long story short, social capital. Whom do you know? Social capital is a source of the competitive advantage. That's a social capital. Okay, and there is another capital that's organizational capital, and maybe I talked a little bit about the organizational capital. How we can realize your good idea into a business? How we can transform a good idea into a business in a certain organization? That's related to intellectual property, whatever. Organized capital is intellectual property creation, patent, brand, technical norms, or the pro or certain very special product. And what is work and what doesn't work? And IP works well in the manufacturing, absolutely. In manufacturing, that is working. But however, the in ICT, that's short product life cycle, that doesn't work. Patent does not help you to protect your intellectual property. It depends. It depends. 
okay and the what is the well, yeah what is the most bad yeah what is the, yeah the which industry is working best for the ip the intellectual property that's a pharmaceutical pharmaceutical industry will work best for the intellectual property protection because that has a very long product life cycle that's more than 10 years uh, for example, so coronavirus. Okay, and then do you know? Is there anybody who know that the who? Yeah, when can we get the vaccine or the hmm, cure, uh, the medicine for the for the coronavirus? Can you guess? When can we get the coronavirus vaccine or the medicine? Mm. Huh? WHO? When? 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 <laughs> when? When? Who? WHO? I don't think so. I don't think WHO. I don't think so. I don't believe that. I don't think so. WHO, no. Okay. And yeah, we are now competing. And the China is leading, and the US is US is another, and the Korea is another, and the Germany is another, and the France. Well, whatever. Okay, those pharmaceutical companies. pharmaceutical companies around the world they are competing they are competing to develop the vaccine or the medicine for the coronavirus 19 and when we can get it can you guess at least one year why because that's dealing with the people at least one year and however the when we can materialize when can we make money by using the medicine, newly developed by using the by the new provide the new medicine. Maybe it takes around the three or five years because we need to prove something. When we want to develop a new medicine, new drug, okay, it takes at least three or five years to prove. It has a really low, low low product life cycle and what's the that's a disadvantage but how about the, what is happening if we can produce that the most well, most successful the drug and the, we are protected by the patent at least 20 years for 20 years you can monopolize your drug okay so that's an intellectual property. Intellectual property patent. A long life cycle product will enjoy more, more longer patent. So the pharmaceutical industry is one of the most important, uh, one of the most important competitive advantage in the pharmaceutical company is intellectual property. That is, that usually come from the organizational capital. Organic capital, we call that. And organic capability is another the source of the organic capital. That's a cap capability is okay. So we must be able to develop a new drug, new product, something. And how we can do that throughout the R and D. Okay. Why Google is good at? Why Google is good at producing the very productive and the very innovative product than the Yahoo? Because their people are good at, and there is a certain policy and a strategy to boost or to encourage the people to develop a new product and innovation. That's the organic capability. And then many body will miss, many body will talk about it, the organic culture. Culture, I'd better to use that the organic capital. 
or organizational capability than the organizational culture. And however, the many body talks about the culture, culture, but the, I don't care about the culture. But however, the, I am taking, I care about the capability of an organization that transform a certain idea into a material. So there are two different type of uh, assets, organizational asset or organizational capability, intangible capability and the internal process. Intangible asset is knowledge, competency, technology, human resources, intangible things we cannot see. And uh, there is an internal process and the product development cycles, or the method, the innovation process, creativity process, privileged relations, decision making process, procedures, and then a few number of the organic culture internal process. This will compose the organizational capability. And that is composing, that is materialized at the organizational capability. And the organizational capability, organizational capital is another source of the competitive advantage. Okay? Good. Good. And there is a psychological capital. Okay, and probably I just tap a little. Here, we talk about the financial capital, that's money. Okay, organic capital, social capital, human capital, that's a competency. Okay, so these are the tangible something. And this is more organizational level something. Okay, intellectual capital is here. However, that's good. And then what's the meaning for this kind of the capital? That's organizational level something. However, personally, will you do this? What's the meaning of the money? What's the meaning of the organic capital? What's the meaning of the social something? For yourself, what's the meaning of the knowledge of yourself? So then, we'd better to think about it though. What's the meaning of those kind of the capitals for ourselves? For you, what's the meaning of this capital? What if you have a $1 billion? What's the meaning of that for you? Just happy? Probably. So what's the meaning of that? So then, this is one part of the capital. But however, the, in, yeah, for yourself, what's the meaning of the capital we need to think about? Okay, good. Then... I'd better to start with talk about it. What is the personal meaning of the capital money? Okay. So first, uh, what if you have one billion dollar? Okay. What if you have one billion dollar? Okay. And however, what if you have no wish, no want? no willpower to do something it happens many times okay have you ever heard about the burnout burnout syndrome you totally lost your motivation it happens because we are human beings we are the yeah we are the emotional creature Even though we have one billion dollar, even though we have tons of thousand million dollars or something, something, and how about the, what if we totally lost our motivation? And what if we are totally burnt out? What if we totally have no idea about it? What is my motive? Then we will do nothing. Then we will keep talking about it, our psychological capital, psychological, mental capital. Okay. And the psychological capital, especially for the positive psychological capital, that concept comes from the Fred Rutens. Fred Rutens at the uh, uh, Nebraska University. And yeah, okay, so I have a connection with the Fred Rutens because the, he was an advisor of the, my 
uh, the, our, the Kane University, Kane University, the management department, the management department, uh, school of the management, management, uh, the chair of the Dr. Sangun Lee, Dr. Wee, okay. And uh, Fred Rutens was the doctor, Dr. Sangun Lee's the advisor. And uh, so I know some, I know him. And uh, Fred Rutens introduced that the concept of the psychological capital, positive psychological capital. And then he proposed, if the people do not have a self-confidence and the whole optimism and the resiliency, we cannot do anything. So then we define this is a capital. Okay, so a long story short, if you are not positive, you cannot do anything simply and then that is a capital that's a psychological capital okay why that is that is helping you to define yourself who are you and who you are becoming that will help you to have a certain goal one billion dollar without any goal What's the, what's the meaning of the money? Nothing. The psychological capital that help us to define our goal, that drive us to do something. Okay, good. Uh, then there is another, uh, the energy, managing energy and not time, and I will talk in more about that, though, how we can manage the money something. Uh, the, how we can how we can manage the spiritual and the physiological and the spiritual capital okay in next in next class okay and however we are keeping we are keep talking about a multiple capital approach to that is believed to create the sustainable and uh, sustainable competitive advantage okay good and any question Uh, yeah, one hour is too short. I. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Any question? And so fast again. Yeah, I must be faster. Mm -hmm. Any technical problem? Okay, good. Mm okay, good, good, good. And then, can I. See you on Wednesday. Ah, yeah, the competitive, the source of the competitive advantage. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will see you. Okay, good. Thank you. And I will see you on Wednesday. Yeah, we are keep talking about the competitive advantage source. Okay, bye Olivia, uh, bye Chloe, bye Nick. Uh, see, oh, Nick came again. <laughs> bye Haley. Well, bye Catherine, bye Iris. <laughs> Oh, bye Miko. Bye Nikki. Yeah, that's fine. The technical problem. Huh? Oh, bye Russell. Okay, good. And then I must.